back to your Please. just for a moment? Yes. Because I agree, it's really important uh, that we deal with facts, and it's really important that we deal with common facts. So let me tell you about Europe as a business person. Um, Europe, there are certain countries in Europe, many of which are now in crisis, that are absolutely the last place you would ever put a new job. And the reason they are the last place you would put a new job is because the rules around labor are so stringent and so expensive that you, you can't, can't afford, afford to take a risk. But how else is Europe characterized? So very rigid labor laws that were designed to protect people. I'm designed, I believe, with the best motives in mind. Second, an extremely high tax regime everywhere. Third, a very high gasoline tax. Fourth, huge entitlements. Those are the four things that characterize Europe today. So it's not growing. Unemployment among the youth is 25% or higher. The streets are on fire because people now in a crisis are trying to cut spending. So why in the US would we decide, raise taxes, add a gasoline tax, not deal with entitlements, and oh, by the way, make our labor issues more rigid than they currently so are? Why would we go down that path? The numbers just don't bear yeah. out. I mean, the top 1%. Yes. I think you struck a nerve. That because I'm trying to understand. I mean, the top 1% of income earners in this country have seen significant, yes. significant I, I over the last two decades I totally agree. And increase in income, and everybody else, their, their income is squeezed and it's going down. I agree. So, Which how it, we can argue that we don't need to balance that but, out at the top? But, but, I don't but understand. Let's, but let, let's just let's take but, that, okay? Let, and it's important to why have so many people? gotten so wealthy in the last, let's call it five to 10 years, investment income. Why has investment and income gone up? Investment. Because the stock market today is one of the few investments left because the Fed is printing money. Yes, you absolutely can tax dividends more, you could. You can, capital you can tax capital, capital gains more, absolutely. Uh, You'll get less investment, mayor, but maybe that's a good trade. The, the mayor's about, about, the mayor's about to launch here. So. I've got to say something, because you spoke about the basic tenets of European society. Well, the basic one of American society has been the free market and capitalism. Then why is your company always asking the government for something? Right. <laughs> You know, when the, when the I don't believe my company <laughs> asked your government for anything other than we presented a dilemma. And it's a difficult dilemma. And I don't be, appreciate being called cutthroat. Because people who run companies care deeply about their employees, about their customers, about the communities in which they live and work. And we make agonizing decisions every day as well. But when you have only one place that you can put a plant, you can't afford to put two plants. You can only put them in one place. The cities come to us. Some of those cities are in Mountain Way, and they say, we want your plant so bad, we're willing to do something for you. And you take tax you. money for some, it. Some cities happen to be in Ireland, or Spain, or Brazil. And then, as a business person, I have a choice. If I have only one factory to build, and two or three or four people are telling me to build it in their city, what am I going to do? Well, you, you, I'm going to take the best deal I can because right. that's what I'm asked to do Jim by Fowl. shareholders yeah. as well as customers. Jim Based Fowl on my stand and front. for the Daily Striver reporting from Europe, I can tell you Europe is a big place. And you look at Germany right, right. now, yes. high taxes, high welfare, tight um, environmental regulations, all sorts of tight labor laws. Supply. We look at them with envy. Yeah. For their, their manufacturing growth. exports, for all that their their corporate performance. So they're that's one and, and that's one. <laughs> Number two is Britain, which yeah. is austeri <laughs> austerity its way into another another recession. So following the deficit hawk prescription. So Europe is a big place.